So I want to ask a question on the carbon farming front. Is this something that farmers can do right now? Because when you talk about it, it sounds like they have an industry, they have a thing that's profitable sometimes, but a lot of farmers are taking loss. And here's a path to profit. Is that something a farmer right now can say, I'm going to stop farming animals? So. It depends, is the answer. The reason that the experiment is being done is that if you talk to ecologists, including ecologists that specialize in ecosystem restoration, it's sort of a niche field, um, they'll tell you that we don't really know the best way to um, restore a robust, self-sustaining uh, ecosystem on degraded agricultural land, okay, which is what we're talking about here. But we know that there are several things that sometimes work. Like, for example, in New England, about a third of, of the entire land area of New England is currently densely forested land, forests that grew up on land that had been cleared as farms. Um, and about 200 years ago, during the Industrial Revolution, a lot of farmers abandoned their farms, moved to cities. Nobody planted those forests and they just recovered spontaneously. In fact, if you look at pictures of Chernobyl these days, you know, you can see that this, this city, once people evacuate it, is basically turning it into a forest. The first and most important thing you need to do is to stop covering it with cows and with grazing cattle and give the system a chance to recover. But in in um, particularly in areas that don't have intact ecosystems pretty close by, the spontaneous recovery can take quite a long time. And there are ways of managing the land that might accelerate the recovery relative to doing nothing. And so we're looking at those. One of them is is just planting about 30 different tree species that are that are the kind of major tree species in the in the intact forest area, forested area around that. By the way, where we're doing this, it historically was forested, okay? Much of the Southeast was uh, forested, including this particular plot of land. And so the native ecosystem is a forest, which is great from a carbon capture standpoint because forests hold a lot of carbon. So one thing we're doing is we're just effectively replanting the same mix of trees that are, are characteristic of native forest. But another third of the land, we're planting a very fast growing species. Um, that's a timber species, which is not going to make a, 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 a biodiverse e ecosystem, you know, like the native ecosystems are not as biodiverse. So what we're doing in this project is we're tracking soil carbon, we're tracking above ground carbon, tracking the populations of all the animal species, birds, mammals, reptiles, amphibians, on this site and the plant species on the site because we want to see how does this how does the whole system evolve with these different management methods and we're going to put all the data online free of course so that farmers can just look at it and just say okay well this is the thing that requires the least investment so i'm going to go for that one or this is the one that provides the quickest uh return on investment so i'll choose that or this is the one that provides the best long-term return on investment. And the reason for the experiment is we don't know the answer. If someone, if a rancher were to say, you know what, here's here's what I care about, okay? I, I, I want to invest as little money as possible and I want to end up with something that over the next 10 years and over the next 100 years is going to be um, the best for my family. What do I do? And we want to be able to answer that question.